Hi, welcome back to the Arcade Repair Tips video series. Today we're going to talk about Coin Mechs. This is a Pac-Man game that we recently got. And I want to check the mechs to make sure that it'll take quarters before we put it on location. The first thing we want to do is to remove the mech. You push the latch or dog ears down, push in the return just a little bit, and it'll come right out. Of course, everybody knows if the Coin Mech doesn't take money, you're not going to make any money. So today we're going to show you how to adjust this one to take quarters. The first thing that we want to do, and the most important thing on a coin mech, is this screw right here. It's right up in the top, right in the, almost in the middle. What you want to do is turn it to the left. Now it's kind of the opposite of what you would be thinking. When you turn it to the left, it gets tighter. When you turn it to the right, it opens up or gets bigger. By turning it to the left, we're going to ensure that a quarter will not go through. In fact, I want it to get stuck. So here's our quarter. Now the quarter is stuck halfway. Now what I'm going to do is stick a flathead screwdriver in and keep turning it to the right until that quarter falls through. Okay saw the quarter fall through well that means that the mech is now adjusted what I usually do at that point is go one half turn farther just a little bit more just to give you a little extra room you don't want it to be barely letting it go through you want it to fly through you want to make a lot of money anyway now the coin will fall right through anyway we also have a couple other mechs that I want to show you this looks the same, but on the cradle is a D. There's no, no marks on this cradle. On this one, there's a D. The D stands for double, which means this one will take quarters or tokens. So look for that. If you have one that has a D on it, it should take a quarter or a token if you adjust it right. And also, one of our favorite mechs is made by Imanex. It's black and plastic, but it works basically the same way. All you have to do is stick a screwdriver in here and turn it to the left. We'll move the slide over or a little tighter. Just uh, keep moving the slide back and forth until it falls easily through. Then, like I said, turn it a, an extra turn will make it fall even faster. So anyway, hope that helps a little bit. Thank you guys again for watching and keep stay tuned for more videos.